everyone, we have been working on this pavilion for quite some time now, making a few details and stuff like that. But today we need some greeneries in here and the swing is going crazy. But we need some greeneries and um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right now, but we will figure it out together. So I hope you will enjoy this video. Let's get to it. So I have these small pots from a friend here in Denmark that is making pots and I thought uh, I wanted them to fit a little better into the pavilion so I am going to color them in green. Um, I think every one of us know how to paint something green so I'm just showing you a tiny bit of it right here. I have a lot of fake greeneries. This is plastic, but uh, they can actually be used for some nice greenery in this little pavilion. So I just cut one of these greeneries apart and used some tacky glue to glue them into this little wall mounted pot here. I'm just stuffing them in there. This glue actually didn't really work for this project, so I switched to a hot glue. I'm not going to show you that right here, but I actually did put hot glue into the little pot instead and then uh, popped these three pieces of leaves in there um, and that gripped a lot better. So you will see me use the hot glue in a second. The other little wall pot, I filled that up with hot glue and then I had these um, weird things here with some leaves on and they were sticking out everywhere. But I popped them in here one by one in this little pot because um, I noticed that they would bend with a tiny bit of a heat from my heat gun. So I filled up this little pot. I placed a few of the leaves on top here to uh, hide the, um, what that's called, the, the hot glue. And then I took my heat gun and I placed this one in a plier so I didn't burn myself. And then I slowly heated up these plastic leaves and they kind of bent over and was hanging nicer. So I left it like that for a few seconds until it hardened a bit and now it's this way they are hanging and they're permanent and I really like it. I used some super glue. Uh, I just have a cheap one here because I ran out of my favorite one. Um, and I'm just popping a tiny bit of the super glue on the back of these uh, wall pots and then placing them here on the inside of my pavilion. And I'm doing that with both of them. I'm sorry I'm a little off camera here, but it was kind of difficult to both glue and look at the camera and have everything in place. So I will show you pictures of this later, but I'm just hanging them right here. And here you see the result of the two hanging pots and I actually think that turned out really really neat. I also have this bigger uh, floor pot and I was filling that with greenery just making sure I liked what I was putting in there before I glued it all in place with hot glue. So I'm just filling up this little pot with my hot glue and then placing the leaves in there. I am hot gluing this little pot onto the floor in the pavilion. This way it will stay where I place it. Mm -hmm. 
I also have this pipe cleaner ish greenery here and I thought I could uh, glue that up the connection on the wall here and into the little pavilion so I'm just cutting off a piece and hot gluing this in place like that um, I think this is from some train station things um, I bought a box with a lot of greenery in a fair or sales exhibition and I found lots of these things in there that I'm using here today so sadly I won't be able to tell you where I got everything from I also have this other wire with leaves on uh, that I'm showing here. I'm not showing you how I glued that on because um, my footage was kind of not usable, but it's sitting like this. I found all these butterflies here on AliExpress. They are nail art. Um, they are kind of big for 1 to 12, but I'm using them as decorations here on the walls and I am deciding to go for the blue ones so let me open the back here and get them out I'm just using a tiny bit of super glue to glue them in place where I want them to sit and I'm gluing a few on here and there I found a free STL print file online and I printed the small birds here uh, in a really, really small settings. The bigger one here is one that I got from the sales exhibition here and I'm just removing the pin. Um, I thought it was looking really nice, so I wanted to use that one as well. So I painted these small birds first that took quite a long time. And now I am going to glue them here and there on this little pavilion to make some kind of life in it. And they are kind of cute. I'm gluing the big one here on the corner of the roof because it is kind of watching over the other ones but well it's sitting there and it sits there very nice. This is my lantern from another video. I made this um, thing go in between the sticks here uh, just for decorations and I made another hook on the top here. I will link uh, in the info box below for the video with this um, a lantern so you can find my 3D print if you want to print it yourself. But uh, that's the one and I am using this silver uh, paint. I forgot the name of this one. I will find it and write it for you. And I'm just giving it a little all over so it's going to look a little more like metal. Now I'm going to my uh, polymer clay and I'm using a opaque white and a translucent white half and half and mixing that together for the candlelights. Rolling out a snake in the size that I want it to be, just like this one. And I'm going to uh, cut off the end here to have a nice end to work with, just like that rolling it a tiny bit and using a dotting tool to um, make a hole into the top of the candlelight uh, rolling it again so it have the same circumference all the way down and I'm just working on the edge here so it looks just like I want it to and I'm shaping it a tiny bit here this way it looks like there is some of the candles uh, running down the side and just shaping it a tiny bit 
and then I am going to cut off the length of this candle that I want it to be in and I'm going to make sure that it will sit up straight when it's standing here on the table. I made three more and I'm using my heat gun to heat them up. This way they will kind of bake a tiny bit before I continue with the details uh, so they won't go out of shape. They still need to be baking though. You can't bake anything like that. Uh, it still needs to be really baked in the oven. Now I am working on the details on the candle here. So I'm just making some small drips and stuff like it. Uh, on the side and I'm actually doing this on all three but I'm just going to show you this one um, but it's easier if you just uh, watch what I'm doing here Oh, and I am using Fimo liquid to glue the baked uh, and the non-baked clay together. Uh, I should have used Bake and Bond instead, because Bake and Bond are more glue-like, where Fimo liquid is making the stuff slide around, and that was pretty annoying. Um, you don't have that problem with Bake and Bond, so yeah, I don't know why I used the female liquid for this one. I did this on all three of my candles and when I was ready and happy with the drips here, I baked them all. After baking, I am taking some black sewing thread and I am using my uh, tacky glue, just a tiny dot of tacky glue here on the finger and running the thread through the tacky glue uh, and I'm going to leave that for drying on this little little glass plate. I'm using my Dremel with a very small dr in it, drill in it um, and I'm going to drill a tiny hole here for the sewing thread. Uh, when it's ready I am going to use it as a wick in the candle. When the glue has dried, it is more stiff and I can cut a piece of it and I can use my super glue to glue it into the little hole we drilled in the candles. I am doing this a little longer than I would uh, have it, but it's making it easier to uh, place it in the candle. So just leave it there for a few seconds before you cut off the wick in the right uh, length. Then I am going to cut the wicks in the right length. Very easy. And I'm going to take the tallest of these candles and glue that into my lantern, just using a tiny bit of super glue placing it in the lantern and then I am going to glue the lid on top afterwards.
Now the lantern and the candles are all done, so I'm just gluing it all in with my super glue into my pavilion. And that is all I am going to do on the pavilion today. I put some greeneries in there, I put some birds and now some candles. I had a lot of fun with this. If you have some ideas for what more I can do in this place, please let me know. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!